Welcome back to the first video of Motoganda in 2017. And oh boy, I know with that topic, most probably I'm gonna lose some viewers, especially some female viewers, maybe. But anyway, I want to cover that one. Hopefully I'm not gonna lose too many viewers with that, or even just with the title. But well, we'll see. So, let's talk about feminism. But actually this video might be different than you would expect it. Of course, I'm not gonna jump on the hate train, if you can call it like that. Either pro or anti-feminism. For the simple reason, I think it's a trap. So maybe it's just me, but it seems like recently there are tons of videos and news about it, like um, from MTV News, the what could white males do better in 2017 or something like that it was called which well was utterly stupid but hey maybe I'm just saying that since I'm a white male so I'm the bad guy I'm neither going into all those claims like uh, inequality and uh, pay gap and what all else is there but I want to go rather into the reasoning why in my opinion this is becoming currently a topic and I would actually even predict for oh there it was a crash it seems but anyway I would actually even predict uh, for 2017 that this will become more of a topic and you will hear more about it at least on mainstream media of course I doubt I will cover it again and I mean just have a look at either side either pro-feminism or anti-feminism news or videos what I found interesting there to see that it's always just real spreading hate like oh, those bad men or oh, those bad stupid feminists or stuff like that so it's rarely you find any news actually arguing about anything but more like people getting triggered and going on a rant and yeah basically just spreading hate and I think that's even wanted of course well you have to keep the people busy somehow arguing about rather unimportant stuff I mean rather unimportant compared to other stuff going on like ongoing wars or human rights violations and stuff like that compared compared to that the feminism debate I personally find rather unimportant and furthermore I think it's the next version or next stage of divide and conquer I mean we had it already well at first it was the bad Muslims versus the Westerners, then it was the bad Russians versus the Westerners. Um, obviously the so-called fake news, alternative media versus mainstream media. And well, hey, now it's women versus men or feminists versus anti-feminists or however you like to call it. Another fact showing that this might be the actual reason behind it is 
that they create funny new words or not not funny actually more like where some people might get insulted about like uh, trying to remember what exactly the words were um, ah yeah was mansplaining and men spreading like when man explain something or man spread or men spacing I'm not sure so what what is that that's not words that's some made up uh, wanna be insulting stuff and for the elites that is basically perfect I mean while everyone is busy arguing or more fighting about feminism they can push through their own agendas I mean it's not that this is the first time they try to do it that way like for example during the was it the European or the World Championship in football or in soccer to not confuse my American viewers during that time while everyone was arguing about football or soccer and who was gonna win and so on in the European Parliament they used this side tracking to basically pass some quite unpopular laws and well in my opinion that's the same thing happening now with feminism so while everyone is just arguing about that topic there might be some other agenda topics being pushed through and just a few people will notice that of course everyone is too busy arguing about feminism and that's actually the reason why I highly doubt I will cover that topic again of course I will focus more on the true agenda which is trying to be pushed by that and obviously apart from just sidetracking you it's meant to spread hate as I said in the beginning already so you have to hate someone of course if we're all peaceful and we don't hate each other nah that's not good right that's not good for the leads at least of course by hate and violence it's easier to push for more surveillance more police state more so-called security so I basically hope you don't fall for that trap and here we go with my opinion on this topic basically or on my approach already breaking actually my first new year resolution trying to get my videos a bit shorter so basically I think that the well let's call it old system where the guy went to work and earned the money and could feed his family with the amount he earned was a pretty good system and well that might get some especially female viewers maybe a bit furious but I, I think women staying at home raising the children is a pretty good thing not not for the reason that I don't know they're not worth working or they're bad at working or anything no for the simple reasons that they are actually pretty amazingly great in raising children and that's by nature I mean don't get me wrong pretty sure 
there are really bad mothers as well and there are amazingly great fathers as well but on average the mother will always be way more don't know what to call it way better raising a child than the father will be and I even think that women in general or not not in general not generalizing here but the majority of women would actually enjoy it more raising the kids at home rather than I don't know going to any work and nowadays we're just in the unfortunate situation that most men with having their job and with their salary can basically not afford to feed a family and as I mentioned before already it's not like downplaying or anything the work of raising a child I actually think exactly the opposite way I don't see it like yeah raising a child is like low-level work or something like that no in my opinion it's the most by far most important work so ju just let's face it from the natural side again. I mean, if let's say there would be out of a sudden no more engineers developing new stuff, all right, that's pretty bad. Or if there would be no more doctors, well, a lot of more people would die, okay. But imagine if there would be no more mothers raising their children. Well, we would basically die out as a species. Of course, well, oh, obviously, children cannot raise themselves. So, in my opinion, it's definitely and by far the most important and most valuable work as well. So, let's hope I didn't scare away too many viewers with my opinion especially not too many female viewers but well i will see that in the statistics later <laughs> but actually i don't really think i scared them away so if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it all over social media and all messengers and whatever you can think of to help this channel to grow obviously if you agree or disagree or have any other opinion or any requests just put it down there in the comments and if you didn't subscribe yet make sure you hit that subscribe button and even if you did subscribe already make sure as well to hit that bell button and I see you in the next video